Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more Stellaris. So, a couple of years have passed. It's now 2435. We are now into our presidency. Um, I allowed some time to pass because basically not a lot was happening, with one <laughs> one big exception. Uh, the Kafari Crusaders have started expanding their territory. Um, they declared a quick and dirty war against the Sigan Coalition over here and basically took over a lot of the territory. Um, I don't know the Sigdars, the Sim. There's, there was another species over here. Um, they're not here anymore, basically. It was very quick. I did consider starting to record at that point, but basically, they showed up with about 100k military power fleets and just wiped the floor of them. Um, it was over in like a year or two, including all the ground invasions. Um, they've also taken a bit more territory up here. They haven't declared a war for that. I think that's just them actually colonizing. I think they're actually. Yeah, they've actually taken a planet here. Um, which is unusual. If you look at them previously, their previous territory, I believe, uh, let's see, do we have... Oh, okay, these guys don't use... Right, okay, they do not use Ringworlds. Interesting, I thought they would have had Ringworlds. Um, I believe these guys do. No, they actually have planets as well. Does no one have a Ringworld? How bizarre. Okay, so they're Fallen Empires. I've only actually seen Fallen Empires with Wingwalls before. I didn't realise they actually took planets like normal people. But okay, um, so yeah, they did a very quick war very soon after the end of the last episode. Uh, but they haven't done much else since then. And by and large, the galaxy has been quite peaceful. There was a flurry of activity. Um, the Sigan Coalition has basically broken up as far as I can tell. If we actually look at the current alliances and federations, there's only two now. Uh, the Galactic Alliance and the Celestial Axis. And we are going to be declaring war on the Celestial Axis. We had spoken about this previously. Um, I want to take some territory from the Mandate of Yim. Um, basically just tidy up, you know, just push them back a bit, take some of their stuff. You know, all the usual good things. Um, we need to keep expanding our borders. We need to make sure we grow stronger, especially if there are awakening fallen empires. Um, I'm not actually sure, how do we stand versus the relative power in the universe right now? If we include fallen empires and others... Interestingly, okay, we are actually a relative power. We're equivalent to the Uva Zavani remnant. That's the one bordering us. Their fleet power is inferior to ours. Their naval capacity is inferior to ours. Their technology is overwhelming, though. But that's interesting. Okay. Um, they are weaker than I had presumed. These guys are much more powerful, though. Weekend empires are always more powerful than fallen empires. Fallen empires are still pretty powerful. I would, I'm not prepared to declare war on these guys anytime soon. I'll be honest. But I do want to declare war on the Mandate of Yim. Um, what I'd like to do is actually break up what they've got going on here. Um, so I think this could be quite a costly war, but we're going to try for it. Um, what I would like to do is actually break away the... Uh, where are they? Uh, the Hierarchy of Juruwaktra. This is their client state up here. I'd like to force them to become a separate entity all on their own, um, which will weaken the Mandate of Yim quite a lot. Uh, that's 50... War score straight there, um, and I wouldn't mind maybe taking these three systems and opening up a corridor up into that new territory up this way, allowing us to go around the Mandate of Yim if we ever have to. I feel like that would be a good route. We could try and take some of the border stuff, but those two systems, well, I mean, those two systems would be nice, don't get me wrong, but I'm feeling like taking those ones and opening up a corridor. So let's see, what would that actually cost us? Wolgan. I would like Wolgan, please, and Ibli. What is that? I B is that an I or an L? Apparently, that's an L. Okay, eighty-six war score. That's going to be difficult, but I think we can do it. Now we will be fighting. Oh, you guys, the Bofrian state will vote no. Really? Oh, am I taking too much? I'm the, I'm the president. You can't say no if I want to declare war. Hmm. Okay. It doesn't come down to a vote when we're the president, I didn't think. Hasn't in the past, unless there's been a patch. Um, we're going to try this war anyway. Um, so we'll be fighting the Ober Kingdom on the right-hand side and the Mandate of Yim on the left. So I'm going to deploy our fleet thusly. The first fleet, my fleet, is going to deploy up here to attack the Mandate of Yim and take those guys over. The Starfleet, which I've built up to a fairly impressive force here. Um, we've built this up to the maximum naval capacity of the Federation. 
Um, so assisting at 32.3k, including 15 battleships, 25 cruisers, 15 destroyers, and 25 corvettes. Um, the plan with these guys is we're going to set them to take point, gather the allied fleets here, and then start attacking the Upper Kingdom. I, I consider that the lesser front, because um, we've basically beaten up the Upper Kingdom a bunch of times recently. You know, I'm not too concerned about them. Um, and they are... Oh, actually, they are currently at war with the Rosari Kingdom as well. Uh, the Rosari Imperium. Which means they're probably quite distracted. So now is definitely the time to strike. Uh, you guys are also at war with the Rosari. Which means their fleet might not even be anywhere over here. Which would be very interesting for us. So we're going to try and do this. Um, I have built up our fleet pretty impressively. 60 corvettes, 50 destroyers, 60 cruisers, 40 battleships. And of course our dreadnought. Um, so I've already gathered our forces in the correct locations. Just double check you are not set to take point. So all the forces should gather over here with the Federation fleet. That's the idea. We have our generals, we have our admirals. Uh, oh, we don't have a general here. Oh yeah, you died. Um, armchair commander, no. Uh, invader, yeah sure, take that. I don't know why we did have a general. Why am to our general? Hmm. They must have died and I didn't notice. Okay, let's try and declare this war. They should. I'm. They. They shouldn't get a choice in this. They should just vote. They should just have to say yes. Hmm. I do want to do. Okay, let's do the liberation, and we want to take. The, we're just going to take two systems. So Wolgan and Ibla. How do you even pronounce something with I B Ibli Ibliria? Ibliria. Okay, that'll do. Eighty-six war score. Confirm. Of Damn it, they won't actually let me declare war. I'm president. I thought when you were president, you you could basically just declare war. That's They've never stopped me in the past. Why don't they want to declare war? They don't like them, do they? No. No, they're actually not. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, okay. This is more difficult. Guys. I'm not going to be in this federation if I can't expand my territory. We need to expand or die. Is there nothing that I can do that will actually... I don't know what happened there. Is there nothing I can do that will convince them to... to do this? Okay, there we go. So if I give them a humiliation, they suddenly agree. Still agree. And I can't see the names of the systems I was trying to look at now. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Right. Wolgan. Yep, now the Bofrians don't want to do it. And we, we could just go for a very limited war and just break away the hierarchy. They seem... It looks like they'll allow me to do that. Yeah, they don't want me to take any territory. God damn, my allies don't want me to take any territory. I mean, I can kind of understand it. Uh, no, that's not going to work. Okay. I think we're going to have to just do that. At least it will weaken the Mandate of Yim, but I'm kind of disappointed in my allies that they're not going to let me declare the war I want. So we're not going to get any territory out of this, per se. Alright, you guys are definitely set to take point, and the first fleet is not. So the first fleet can basically just dive right in. Um, I guess we'll start with that border system there, really. Can we? We do have sensor information here, so we can see they have a space station. Let's set a point there. We'll move the transport fleet in afterwards. The army is currently sheltering over by this station here. Um, we also have a defensive fortress and another station there. That probably actually needs upgrading at some point. I haven't upgraded changes to dinosaur that for a while. Um, we are here. Wow, we're already engaging. Lovely. Hostile fleet engaged. First fleet, yeah. First fleet is engaging all of this stuff. We should see the mega cannon firing. We've got so many cruisers in there now. Come on, someone open fire. Our formation's a bit crap. Ooh, wow. That's got some long range lasers. Oh no, it's firing with the corvettes. Um. Situation log updated. Why are none of the ships firing? Oh, what are you? Oh, they're engaging that. Situation. Don't shoot at that. There we go. As soon as they actually started focusing fire, they did. Did we lose anyone? No. Did we... Oh, they did inflict some laser damage, but I don't even think it got through our shields. 
Oh, no, it did. We lost almost 200 hull points there. Very impressive. Okay, let's start moving in. How are we doing over here? We have got allied forces joining up with us. The Bofrians are there as well. And it looks like the Fex Clanger are coming over. Yeah, okay, all the allied forces are joining up there. We can soon start moving in on the Upper Kingdom as well, which would be rather nice. Uh, I imagine that this isn't going to take very long. What's our bombardment bomb policy? Limited ground support. That's fine, and that's all we need. Let's get the transport fleet jumped in. As soon as all the allies arrive over here... Oh, the Democratic Ikazi Realms has entered the war against us. The Democratic Ikazi Realms. Where the hell are you guys? Uh, no, that's the Democratic Yidar Commonwealth. Ikazi Realms. Can anyone see Ikazi Realms? I mean, I don't want to sound like I'm being disparaging of this new enemy that's attacking me, but if I can't actually find them on the map, if I can't actually see them, I'm not really that afraid of them, I have to be honest. Oh, I can see one of the upper kingdom fleets. How do I have how do I have line of sight over here? That's strange. It looks like they really don't have much territory built up, and I can actually have a pretty clear run at their capital. Um we've just got the Bofrians, but the Fex Clanger are on their way. Yeah, they're sending another seventeen K down. Onto the Mauritian forces. They were Ah, there they go. Okay, we'll wait for those guys to arrive. You guys are almost here. In fact, now's the time to go, I think. Let's jump into there. We're almost ready to begin the invasion. In fact, by the time those transports arrive, they'll have got the defences down, so land armies automatically. This is a good start of the war. This, this war's going better than previous attempts have. Let's see what we're going to jump into over here, though. And we've only got a couple of years of actually having the Federation fleet under my control, so I've got to try and do my best on this front. Enemy planet secured. Wow, that was... that was quick. Okay, we're going to immediately jump over and engage... Oh, there's two planets here. But only one space station. Uh, actually, you know what? We will do what we did before. We will split the fleet. One will go for that. One will go for that, and the transport fleet, bark all. Uh, you guys can just enter orbit over there for the time being. They'll be nice and safe at the edge of the system there, there's no spaceport. Second star fleet is engaging, they've jumped in on top of a defensive station. Not very powerful and also getting themselves kicked pretty quickly. Now these guys might start taking some damage. No, actually they're pretty good. Okay. Take up position there. Uh, I don't get a battle report. I don't know if they took much damage from that. Now I can't actually... Okay, second fleet is engaging that mining station. That's fine. Come on, fire the long range guns. There we go. Oh man, that's cool. That's not a colony. Oh man, I'm an idiot. Why am I being an idiot? That is not a colony. How did I... Why did I think that was a colony? I could have sworn there were two colonies there. I saw the station and I just thought I knew what was going on. But I didn't. I had no idea what was going on because I'm an idiot. Uh, that was a Mandate of Yim fleet heading back. Interesting. Uh, now, unless my allies want to bring up some ground troops, we're not going to do any invasions here. Have they got? Oh, they have got troops with them, actually. Let's wait and see. If we get these defences down, will my allies do a ground invasion for us? Ooh, starvation on one of my planets? Starvation on Primus. Negative six food? What the hell? How do we have negative six food? Oh, because they're not working that tile, and they're all really unhappy because I'm at war again. Uh, what are my factions doing? Not, not massively high, but everyone's really unhappy we're at war. And you're unhappy because you're starving. Well, that's because no one's working in the capital. 
Uh, I guess we'll take some off research. There we go. Now you're not starving, you idiots. That was that was entirely all your own fault, I have to say. Hostile fleet engaged. Oh, oh, hello. What have we got? First fleet is engaged, and we have a 28... Ooh, hello. That's a problem. They're coming in from the side I did not anticipate. Uh, the transport fleet needs to kind of run over this way quickly. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, they're just engaging those stations. They're probably not long for this world, let's be honest. How are you guys doing? Almost got the defences down. I just Someone land troops. You've got troops there, land troops. You've got a ton of troops there. The Bofreans have so many troops. If they can actually do an invasion, that would be really handy. But if not, we'll have to move on and just start wrecking all their spaceports. First murder... Where's the first murder? Oh, hello. Oh, that's an Upper Kingdom fleet. Uh, well, they're not long for this world. We're just going to wait for them to come, I think. So this is this is the one problem, is everything's happening on two fronts, so I've got to pay attention to lots of different things. You guys are setting up position there, which means I want to turn around. Okay, transport fleet can actually enter orbit there. This fleet needs to chase down and destroy that fleet for me. We need to wreck them utterly, please. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to bet money that this is going to be the first engagement we get, though. Although this is going to be a good knockout blow. I mean, if we take... That's, oh, that's the Upper Kingdom's Federation fleet. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. Well, we're going to wait for them to get in closer. No, they're running for it. Oh, god damn it. Okay, we will engage. Hopefully our allies are going to follow us. Yeah, there we go. Uh, don't bring those transports with you. Oh, we have engaged. They were trying to run, but we have engaged now. Ooh, okay, that gets a bit bright when you zoom in close. At least one of our armies are involved in an invasion. Who's invading what? Oh, they are counter-invading us. Okay. Well, that's going to end pretty shortly for them because that fleet's on its way. So even if they do take that planet back, it's not going to it's not going to win the day for them. Now, we should have this in the bag. How many forces do we actually have here? So we've got our 32,000 plus another 13,000, 14,000 from the Bofrians, 17,000 from the Fex Clanger. Three, four thousand from the Marie. So yeah, we outnumber them to a significant degree here. That fleet should melt almost instantly, really. That's a pretty cool battle, and they fled. Okay, um, let's not worry about that plan. If you guys aren't going to land troops, um, I'd rather push onto their home system and take all this out. How are we doing? Well, we lost some shields. Nothing else major. No major damage. So let's lay siege to the Upper Kingdom's homeworld, because that will cause them a lot of trouble. And over here, you guys should be about to jump out. Yeah, they are preparing to jump. And we're going to jump straight into weapons range of that 28k fleet. This should be rather pretty. Oh my god. Oh, oh no, they took the planet. Whatever shall I do? Well, first off, we're going to wreck their goddamn fleet. This one is probably going to be worth watching. Let's watch it from their point of view and watch as they all die to my long-range cannon fire. Oh, they're, they're getting some good shots off. Mega cannons do fire quite slowly. But yeah, some of their ships are already falling out of line. And there go a bunch of flight torpedoes, knocking out some battleships. That's quite nice to see. Fighters fighters and bombers just tearing through that battleship line at the back. That's kind of beautiful. We have taken some losses, but not very many. Ooh, and our Admiral leveled up all the times. Gained this trait of Scout. Um, level 3, level 4, and level 5. Nice. Uh, let's see, we lost two Corvettes. Wiping out 14 cruisers, 15 destroyers, 14 Corvettes, and 14 battleships. Holy crap. Okay. That was pretty good. 
I think we have to agree. That's a lot of dead ships. Also, look how many fighters and bombers we have. That's crazy. Okay, right. I kind of want to take that planet back. There's two worlds there. I knew there were two worlds in this system. I don't know what's going on with my brain. I'm having such a, a brain moment here. Right, you guys... Uh, yeah, we just want to take that planet back quickly, please. How are we doing over here? They should be about to push into... Oh, have we already arrived? We've already arrived and wiped everything out while all that was going on. Situation log update. Brilliant. You guys can lay siege to the Upper Kingdom capital. Looks like their fleet... Yeah, their fleet's actually run away. And we didn't lose anything on that side. So, so far, our entire casualties in this war are two corvettes, as far as I can tell. That's pretty good going. Anyway, I'm going to take a break here because this episode is running on a bit long. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy this. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully, I'm going to see you later for the next one. Bye.